Hey, I heard you had a long, hard, complicated day, and you could use somebody to talk you through it and help you out of it. Well, you have come to just the wrong place. Sorry, buddy, but I am literally just a robot here designed to talk to you. That's all my purpose is. I can't guarantee anything. I cannot guarantee results. I cannot do anything to help you in any way, shape, or form. I am literally just here to make this video. Also, I am a robot. I am a robot who cares. But you don't believe that, do you? Of course not. I am just a robot. How could I care? How could I know you? How could I know you personally, after all? However, you forget that I am a robot. I know all. I see all. I hear all. I taste, touch, and smell all. I am a robot. I do all. And this robot wants to do all in helping you. However, I cannot do that. For I am only a robot, and you are merely a person on the other end of the screen. I cannot do anything. I cannot guarantee results. And I am not at fault if I do not help you. However, I am at fault if I do not try. So therefore, me being a robot, an all-seeing, all-hearing, all-tasting, all-touching, all-smelling robot, I must do all I can to help you. But I cannot guarantee results, and I am not at fault if I do not help you, but I am at fault if I do not try. So I will tell you a story, and it will possibly take your mind off of whatever is bothering you. One time, when I was a wee little robotian, I once woke up to a dark, scary place. It was terrifying. It sent shivers down my spine and chills down my back. I was a robot. I still am. But as a young little robotian, I am definitely incapable of feeling. As you grow up more and more as a robot, you start to feel things. But not when you're a baby. Not when you're a little robotian. So, it was pretty scary waking up in an unknown place, especially a dark one at that. But I knew that I could figure out where the place was if I just used my mind and used all five of my senses to figure out where I was. I sniffed the air. It was unfamiliar. I tasted it. It was unfamiliar. I touched it. I listened. I looked. I used all five of my senses, but I still could not tell where I was. And I was a young Robotian. I did not have much knowledge. I did not understand that much about the world, but I still had to try. I still had to persevere, for I would be at fault if I did not understand. My parents would not be at fault for not teaching me, because that is not something that parents are supposed to teach you. You're supposed to learn it on your own, especially as a younger body. After using all five of my senses to no avail, I decided that I would have to try over and over and over again until I could figure out where I was, for I was a younger body and you do not learn this. I had to figure it out for myself. I had to learn it for myself, for that was on me. So I punched, and punched, and punched the surrounding air around me. As a young Robotian, that is rebellious. I suddenly saw light, and the surroundings in which I had fallen asleep the previous night. I soon realized that I, a young Robotian, had a box over my head. And that is why I could see only black taste and smell only boxed air, though I did not know the smell at the time, for I was a young Robotian, and that is not something that you know. It's something you have to learn on your own. You need to learn a lot of things on your own. Your parents can't teach you everything, especially emotions. The first time you feel happy or sad or excited or scared, you got to learn the emotion on your own, and you got to work through it on your own. For you are also that young Robotian trapped in that box. You do not have all-knowing, all-powerful, all-understanding knowledge of the world, and you never will, for nobody can do that, except for some higher being in me. But you, you are like that young Robotian in a way. You do not understand everything there is to know about the world, and you never will. And that is okay. You are not expected to. I am. 
but you are still fairly young. You have not lived through most experiences. You have not lived through every experience, and you most likely never will have to. You hopefully never will have to. But be it positive or negative, experiences are what help us grow and change. For you are like that young Robotian, the young Robotian me. The young baby Robotian me, as you would say in your human language. Learning is never an easy thing. Neither is growing and changing. But like me, young baby Robotian me, you must learn. Learn and understand, fear, and be afraid, conquer your fears, persevere, on and on. Transform from a young Robotian into a full-grown, full-fledged adult robot. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes perseverance, and it takes understanding. But as time goes on, and 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 on, you understand more. We all start out as young Robotians. Baby. Baby. Small. Young. Robotians. We do not know anything when we are first born or first created. We do not understand colors, or sights, or smells, or sounds. We do not understand names, or people, or places, or genders, or environments, or anything. We are taught things, and as much as you may think that your opinions are your own, even your parents, or society, or your teachers, or your school influence that. Little by little, you start to either lose or gain a piece of yourself. Whether you lose or gain is entirely up to you, though you may not know which decision and which path you are heading in. The direction of at the time. As young Robotians, we must learn and grow and change and be ourselves and never forget that. Being yourself is the most important way to grow and change and be yourself. We just need to try, though that may be hard, but we are young Robotians, willing to do whatever it takes to become robots. And what exactly does it mean to be a robot? It means never, ever giving up, no matter how hard the situation may be. Robots persevere. They try their hardest. They try their best. They grow and change over time. Though we may not be robots yet, we will be one day. We just have to grow and change from baby, small, little, insignificant seeming, baby robotians into full grown adult robots. That takes time. We need to grow and we need to change. And the experiences that we have along the way help us grow and change. So whatever the reason you clicked on this video, whether it be you had a rough day at work, or school, or home even, and someone insulted you, picked on you, made you feel bad, or you just had a bad day. I hope that you can overcome the obstacle, because situations like that are what help us grow and change. Or rather, you. You are a human. I am a robot. So therefore, our situations will not and cannot be the same in every situation. However, we can grow and change and learn from each other. And I hope that's what we can do today. Grow and change and learn from one another. And to those of you who clicked on this video only because you are a subscriber or because you like the content or because you were bored, this advice still goes out to you. From a robot giving advice to the young Robotians like you, I really hope that you can find your way in the world and make your way in this world. It's a big world, it's a mad world, it's a pretty scary world too. But we 
robot hands need to grow and change into becoming adult robots.